Teachers want to teach. But what about that CDC the guidance priority. then? That's, that's the question, because the CDC is saying, essentially, their best guidance is don't open if you're in a red zone. 90% of students are in a red zone. And the science is very clear. The CDC's own science says schools are not a source of community risk. Well, so here's the thing. What the CDC, what they have recommended are, are exactly that, recommendations about how to reopen safely if they've been closed, how to stay open if they've been opened. And so the recommendations include what, again, needs to happen around social distancing, hand washing, mask wearing. But the point is that we all want our kids to get back to school as quickly as possible and as safely as possible. There has been a shifting timeline here. Back on December 8th, the president, then president-elect, tweeted, uh, we want to reopen the majority of schools in the first 100 days. He later said that day, yeah. we want to have most schools open. Now, he said, as recently as last night, he's talking about the majority of K through 8 schools. Last week, we heard a White House official saying, open means it could mean just one day a week open. The president said, no, that was a miscommunication. But I mean, I guess, look, again, parents mm -hmm. watching, what is the bottom line? What does it mean yeah. for schools to yeah. be reopened? And how soon can they be reopened? So our goal is that as many K through eight schools as possible will reopen as it, within the first 100 days. Our goal is that it will be five days a week. And so we have to work to achieve that goal. But our goal is the goal of parents. And I mean, here's the thing, Savannah, I don't need to tell you. We are. I, the, the issue here is not just about statistics. It's about our kids. It's about their parents. It's about the fact that every day our kids are missing essential, critical days in their educational development. Uh, you know, we, we know, we have worked on this issue for years around the fact that, you know, by the end of third grade, if a child is not at third grade reading level, they literally drop off. So each day in the life of a child is a very long time. Absolutely. And that's why, right, and that's why we, we've got to collectively do everything in our power to reopen our schools as quickly as possible and as safely as possible. A lot of public health officials will say this closing of schools is as much of a, a public health crisis for all the reasons you mentioned. A final